So in this session, we are going to discuss about different types of agent grease problem. So for what we have discussed, what is an agent and what are the different types of a, uh, environment in which an agent can operate on. And the next one is we are going to discuss about the different possible agent problems. So these are all the types of agent. I'll explain, a, I explain one by one. So first step, we call it as a table driven agent. So this is a very basic agent structure where you have all the POSUP sequence for each and every POSUP sequence, we have an action to be performed. Okay, so it is like, these are all the things given, you have to perform this, nothing more than that. Okay, so when you are able to design an agent on this criteria, we call it as a table driven agent. So we have a table with all the sequence of POSUP to that of an action to be performed. So it is mapped. And the drawback here is the size of the table and time taken. Like you have to find all possible criteria. You have to analyze the environment, all possible criteria. You have to find, uh, you have to uh, input an action to be performed and you cannot automate it. Okay, so whatever is already done, that has to be performed. There is no other extra things to be done. Okay, and the time is the constraint over here since we have to, it is not an automatic, like it is not going to learn it. Whatever is given, it is like, you have your electronic circuits in all, right? You program an electronic circuit, whatever give you are going to give, it works only that. Okay, so this is your table driven agents, agent type. And next one is simple reflex agent. So you, in this simple reflex agent type, like you have some set of rules and regulations. So if this happens, this is going to be the action to be performed. Okay, so here you can uh, look into it. Like this is one uh, way of representing any agent-based problem. So in the environment, you're going to have the sensor, sensor organs. It is going to sense the environment and based on the current percept. Percept is like combining the sequence of uh, sensor organs input. You're going to find what happens in the environment. So based on the perception, we are going to have an action to be performed and the action is performed by activators and the activators are going to perform the action on the environment. Okay, so this sequence is common. So this stabler sequence is common for all type of agent. When you take an agent that is, it has a sense organ that sends the environment and that input is given as a percept of an environment current percept and you have an action to be performed and that person who decides on what action to be performed, right? So based on that difference, we have all this different type of agent. Okay, so when we know what action to be performed, we have activators and the activators are going to initiate the action in the environment. So when you're going to use this, if the nails rules for all possible criteria, we call it as a simple reflex agent. So these are all the basic one. It doesn't have much in, uh, intelligence. Okay, so it cannot work on a complex scenarios. Whatever is given, it works on it. Okay, and sometimes it has a possibility of setting into a loop structure. Okay, when you have a vacuum cleaner problem, when you are not properly designing it, when you say that move left and move right, it keeps on moving left and right without cleaning. Okay, and it has the possibility of in entering into an infinite loop since there is no learning happens over here. Okay, so this is all about simple reflex agent. So the decision is based on some set of rules or the conditions that is predefined, it is given already. And the next possible model is it is like going from a hierarchy, start from the very basic of table driven to a rule based, and then we have this model based. So when you use this model, model is a term like that comes into picture when you have an uh, already existing history of scenarios. So what it do, model based reflex agent, it have the sensor, sensors will take the percept of an environment and when there is a percept happens, we are going to check the existing history. So we have this set of rules of action to be performed. Along with that, we are going to verify what already is done or not. Okay, so in case if I have a perception, I'm going to uh, verify my history, whether I'm going to have this, I'm going to verify whether the same sequence occurred already or not. In case if it is occurring already, what action we have performed over there at the time and what is the impact that happens on the environment. So these sequence are analyzed and based on that, we are going to take an action. Okay, so rather than directly based on the rules taking an action, we are going to verify the history of even that occurred already 
and based on the action like what effect it habit in the environment based on this past sequence when you are able to determine something okay so whenever some unknown sequence occur in the environment whenever some unknown percept occur in the uh, in the like if it is not in the rule but still it occur okay in that case we are going to have a verification that runs in the background of what happened previously altered like whether he, we have the same scenario or not okay so when you are able to combine all these things together we call it as a model based agent and next one is goal based agent uh, so far what we have done like we have certain uh, set of rules or uh, set of yeah, actions to be performed that is put up over there as a rule and we select one action and we do it but a goal based agent is something what we have to do now we have to select an action and we are going to verify the impact of that action whether it is able to reach the goal or not okay when i choose this action how far i am able to reach the goal rather than comparing with other possibilities okay it is like your rational agent what a rational agent do it will have a multiple paths to take okay you'll have a multiple uh, uh, outcome or the actions to be performed and we are going to choose the right one and while choosing the right one i'm going to choose it whichever is near to the goal i'm going to choose that okay so that is called a goal based agent each time an action is chosen based on the way it helps to reach the goal okay and the next one is like not all the actions or the agent based problem are going to work towards the goal sometimes we need we need the happiness to be achieved like you have the rating system right so when there is a team of person doing some works when i want to choose the team i have to make sure that these team members i am choosing right they have the compatibility to work okay for example like when i have when i am choosing and uh, um choosing some class team i don't want to choose all five best students and assign a team to them okay i want to choose that whether those five team members are compatible they have to be best but still they have to be compatible each other in achieving the goal okay so that is called an utility based agent so here it is not pakka fully uh, related to goal so here we are going to map it to the degree of happiness so this degree of happiness is not an no uh, what is the integer component we can directly uh, set to it but we are trying to find the likelihoodness of reaching to the happiness factor at the end okay so that is called an utility based agent rather than a goal based we are going to uh, like without conflicting the goal that is also important we have to achieve the goal along with achieving the goal we have to take a decision in such a way that the happiness factor is also achieved so this is your utility based agent and the last one we call it as a learning agent you know what is a learning agent right so we have all your machine learning deep learning kind of things comes into picture so we'll have this history all um, previously existing content will be there and you have a learning element so what this learning element do it will verify all the existing model and all the actions performed in the existing model in case if i am able to predict it correct pakka fine if if in case i am not able to predict it i am going to change my modify my learning element okay what your machine learning or your supervised learning do i take one input i am trying to reach i'm i'm i'll try to find what will be the output of it i'm going to compare it with the existing output if i'm able to reach the existing output uh, like the existing output the target and the calculated outputs are same that is fine or else i'm going to modify it so each time we try try to give a more, give a feedback and based on the feedback we modify the system and we keep on repeating until the every elements are learned properly okay and un until like when the knowledge transfer happens we are going to stop the process that is a learning agent based type so these are all the different types of agents that we look into this artificial intelligence okay thank you